Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to our Immortal Empires preview let's play as we continue with our Jomin campaign from turn 4. We have a big fight here in Xinwu against a massive Skaven force of 4 armies. A couple of them very small, but we get experience for that, so let's fight the battle. Now there's not a lot of staging space because the settlement's quite huge. And depending on, right, they're coming from different places, it could get pretty ugly. We have to look at the setup. I think I fought this map before, so uh, from our previous paint the world type of campaign with Melian. We don't have to go inside at all. I think we pretty much can wait it out. Right, yeah. So these points obviously a little bit annoying because they will repeatedly pump out towers. If we... Okay, so that's one guy coming in. And this is the the half stack. We should stay here and just wipe this out. So that means the garrison plus the full stack are inside. If they want to come out and fight me, they can. This tower, if that's a tower... Yeah, is going to be super annoying. So alternatively, we can just fight the one lord which doesn't do us much good. And we still have to contend with this tower. Right, space is tight. That is the main problem. We have to force our way basically up these two ramps, take this, and then figure it out from there. The center point has one tower as well. I guess we could dragon form it. I mean, this is too good of opportunity to not just pound them as they come in. That's not going to block us, is it? It might. Hmm, maybe we back off a little bit. So we can just move it. Yeah, create some distance so the shot can elevate. And then at the same time, would they charge out at us? We have to prepare for it, I guess. Oh my god, this ridge. It's like really hard to place units here. That's as far as we can get. About that direction. I don't really care about that direction, actually. We can just pretty much seal up this direction with a couple of peasant spearmen. That's good enough. We probably want to double stack these. We have a lot of units and like I said, this staging area is really tight. We're just going to fit everyone first and then figure out what we're going to do with them afterwards. Because if we put them too close, the towers are going to get us. I might have to just keep killing towers with our dragon form. Alright, where's the towers? So that one... Oh, we're barely out of range? It's kind of like we're in range here, but I'm not getting shot, so... I assume we're kind of out of range. Come on, 1 minute 40 seconds, we'll let them show up. We'll murder them first. And fire. I think we'll use most of the shot at them, it's gonna be fine. The settlement ones... Are they gonna charge out? That is the big question. So far only one tower, 30 seconds in, we're, we're moving. Waiting for that idols and there we go. That means we can control him. Let's go destroy that. There's a few units with range capabilities, but nothing major. Stone and steel. Rocket battery. I assume this is gonna be an easy target. 
Do I have to juke? Yeah, I probably should juke. Wait, can he even shoot up? Because if I'm elevated, it feels like he can't even hit me. Yeah, he can only shoot down. He's shooting here. Alright, we need to look over there now. We'll get shot, it's fine. We haven't lost any health yet, so, so far so good. Oh my god. Oh no, they're moving. No, 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 don't move up. Don't move up, don't move up, just fire. You literally moved up and blocked your own vision. There we go. Oh no. No, hitting us with a spell, hitting us with a spell. Move, 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 move. Alright, we, we got out of most of it. Four lords, it's gonna happen. Alright. It's okay. It's not like we're gonna win this without taking much of a loss. Definitely gonna be one of those pretty brutal fights. We'll let them go in. This is fine. I think if we can keep one here, it'll be good. I think we'll just focus down one side. Did we destroy that yet? Almost. They build another one in the back. Um, that looks like the entrance, so we'll start moving this way. Oh, no, no, not you, not you, not you, stay here. Warriors. Seeking Cathay's foes. We don't have the speed to close in on that. Probably catch up with the flying unit. Did we take it down? Yes. Okay. Let's go after the other one. Ooh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I thought it twisted at the last moment there. Ow. Another spell? Wait, you're in position already? Chill, chill, chill. Save your ammo. They, uh, they used the spell to kill one. It's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, they're wasting a bunch of ammo trying to take out drumming here. I mean, we're getting injured, but I think it's fine. Not as effective. Maybe move over here. Alright, now we're just getting pounded. Let's fly back. We'll clear this area first. We need to move our archer up to give them the right bonus. Yeah, we're not going to be super helpful here. Mm, it'll get a couple of our guys, but they're heavily armored. And this is just the base damage. Oh, they built this one here. Never mind, we have a job. Warriors! 
We're not gonna summon anything. All right, fight, just fight, because you guys are just moving through right now. They have no mass, we should be able to push them. I might just hit this if they start coming down. Let's see how effective that angle is. Not firing? Oh, never mind. They were just super slow on that aim. Mm, they keep building towers really, really fast. And our animation, we can't touch this one? Oh, we're, we're hitting it from super high up. We're hitting it from up here. That's interesting. Just target that one. Alright, it broke that. They're firing straight up? How can they do that? Yeah, some of these angles make no sense. Alright, we're gonna hold off on that. Towers have to go down. Looks like we're having trouble breaking through here. No, 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 don't move. Look like they did break through. One go here. One continue to chase. Keep fighting clan rats. I'm not gonna summon anything yet. Any chance we can arc this much? If they can hit us, why can't we hit them? Once they move through, maybe? I got reserves. Yep, we can shoot them. Perfect. They're still wasting a lot of ammo on me. Push in here. You can try to clean up this one as they're retreating. Alright, just stay here. Don't move. The bonus is more important. We destroyed it, time to move to the next one. We're just in busy tower putting out fire mode. Oh, got another one moving down. Hit them. Maybe too low now? Okay, too low, it's gonna obstruct. There's no point. We'll wait for the next one to come down. Who are we chasing now? Alright, finally got these spears up. Go after these. And let's move another spear up. We'll just keep shifting reserves forward. Get a flank charge if possible. We don't have any really great spells for that, unfortunately. And they even built this one. Defenders of Cathay! Long spears! For the Never conquered! They will perish! Celestial Fury! So many towers. All right, that one's down. Let's get this one. I don't think we need to start a second front. I think we just focus on this one front. It is a pile up, but it's one that we have the quality, so we should be able to push our way in. the chance to hit this one as well but if the night runners want to come down it's not a big deal all right they're wavering push them
We gotta put out that one afterwards. Nice. We can move these out. Maybe swarm that one. I don't know if we do well against that. Alright, so that's down. Back to this side. I have to send this guy probably at that. We'll hit them before they run away. We'll also hit that. We'll crash these two. Move these up. Move these up. Send. He's out of ammo, but he still give us the Inyan bonus. I mean, they're going to run out of ammo as well. The tower's really annoying. We need to get that point. Alright, they're beat. See if we can get up here. Defend the realm. Gotta kill that platform. Knock them out. Make sure they don't bounce back. We got plenty of reserves. Yep, we're still up there. They're still hitting us somehow. It's a quarter damage. It's pretty good. Alright, we took down that tower. This one's back, unfortunately. Alright, let's set up here. And then grab these two. Try to form here. Yeah, it's hard to beat over here. Enemy's a little thick. We might have to summon soon. I don't know how many units we can throw at this with all this damage coming down. Especially since we don't have a range bonus. Let's put this one over here, even though they don't have any more range damage. Let's move back a little. Alright, this is a crucial fight. I'm gonna try to clear this up. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Very much so. Took out a range bonus as well. Hmm. Bounce back. Not sure how much you can help. Keep fighting these. Try to give them the Inyan bonus here. Fight. All right, we're going to dive in here. We're out of magic, basically. I'm just be a big, mean dragon. Another spell? Okay, at least our Jade Warriors are up. One to plug it up, one to maybe flank on this side. Can we get another range unit over here? Only thing we have is the fire rain, that's the problem. Anyways, let's send the reinforcements up. Keep fighting here. 
You guys can go here. You guys are going here. Ah, hitting our summon. That's actually really good. I mean, we want to capture this. We've got to clear this mess to send some guy over there to capture it. We've got to get one of these Skaven slaves to rout. And then that will break as well. Yeah, we need this unit to bounce back, actually. Maybe that leadership is recovered. Shenyang's faithful. Defend the realm. Rallied? All right, come back up. Come back up. Perfect. Bring in harmony. Just need to provide that Bring bonus. All right, keep fighting them. Don't overchase. We just gotta get rid of this one clan rat. Come on. You're shaking. You're done. Okay, I need them to be here. You go after that. I'll help you hold here. We're coming. I'll just stand here to be a cheerleader. Mm, we can't break through. They piled on. That's a real problem. Praise the dragon. Fight as one. They're also protecting the point quite well there. It's time to move in. Bringing harmony. The Emperor's will. Maybe we can try to clean up these range units a little. Don't route. Don't route. You need to stay strong for the other troops. We're coming. Come on, this one Skaven slave cannot be holding us here. They're blocking this door really well. Can we move up a little? Get into a flank, maybe? Maybe. See if we can force our way there. Okay. Somewhat of a flank. Rather than just all pile up here. Try to take this out quickly. Move up. Move up. Over chasing. Go back. Okay, they cracked, which means we can probably get an angle here, if I can even select the land. Now they're completely surrounded, I think. I think to die, because we need to basically get that point. Alright, they routed. Time for us to go. Backup units coming up. Make sure you keep that occupied. Come on, we got a complete surround on this unit. Let's kill it. Just the clan rat. Their lords are coming. Alright, I'm gonna help them capture this point. Keep keep this blocked. Yep, yep. Is he going? Yeah, I think so. And you come here to help capture. See if we can set up here and get some shots on that side. 
Oh, we did break them. Don't overchase, don't overchase. Get this archer up. Provide that bonus. Just get some get some fight here. Alright, block that hallway. Get that point, get that point. Let's move. Force it. Keep pushing them back. Stay on that. They're gonna bounce back. Right, that lord is a problem. Looks like this is a free capture now. They beat that as well. So once that collapses, we're gonna go after this guy. Our guys that bounce back. Everyone here for now. Finish the capture. I'm gonna go and kill this guy. Actually, that's going to go down the second we capture. I'm going to kill that, then. Alright, hurry up, hurry up. Everyone's waiting on that. Mm, I can try to kill that, actually. Come clean this mess up. We need to break through this point. I should be able to bomb this one to death. Yeah, not super accurate, but got some splash damage on the units behind. We got the capture? Almost, almost. Come on. Those towers need to go down. Perfect. Come crush that. Move, 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 move. Alright, we're making inroads. I think we're going to be able to break this very soon. Go after that range unit, and then we probably want to capture that to stop these towers. And over chase the little... It's okay, just go after the range unit, why not? we got a couple shots left. Let's see if we can go after that as well. Seal that off. Did they come over? Yep, kill this guy. Oh, we gotta kill this, actually. If we don't open this path up, it's not gonna work. Hmm, there's not a good target anymore. I guess we'll hit this, even though we'll hit some friendlies. It's probably the only target we have. Come on, army lost on us, please. We killed a lot of you guys already. I think this name is because this unit is the quote-unquote leader of the garrison. This one archer is so valuable for us. Alright, they routed this guy, finally. Move, move, move. We need to force this point, basically. No. Do we take out this guy? Come on, he's shaking, he's, he's almost done. Force it. Chase that guy, chase that guy, chase that guy. Ignore him. Alright, keep occupying their center here. I should go after that if they want. Let's see if we can get a shot on that. Over here, please. We need to capture this point. Shut down these towers. One unit occupying him is enough. They're out of ammo, but they're also providing range bonus now for them, so they can stay. We're filing down here. Alright, got a couple of distractions. We're gonna send one over. Actually, I'll go over all the units. 
capture this quickly. Use your mass. Use your capture weight. Our lord doesn't have any because it's a flying lord. All right, we should be fine here. Order and balance. Okay, their units are all routed, right? It's just a couple of lords now. We'll capture that as well. We'll actually bounced over, over chase, essentially. Let's see if we can capture that as well. The tower probably kill us before we do it. Stuck on him. Actually, we're going to force our way over. Our capture weight's going to be greater than his one lord, and we should be able to capture that, no problem. Where are we? Overchased. Okay, let's go back. We should go kill him. Did he just cast a spell at us? Alright, we got this point. Time to move. This one's probably not going to capture. Oh, they build an upgraded tower. That's what's going on. Come help. I think we got this. It's been quite the fight. I'm probably not going to get that one. I think this one, maybe? It's just the lords now. This one looks like the leadership is gonna dip. That tower is annoying. Come on, capture it, destroy it. Nice. I'm gonna go take these as well. I'm gonna keep this one guy here to get the weight on it. Actually, you guys probably better serve trying to capture that. Not exactly in fighting shape. Wait, did he run away or did he route and then bounce back? Looks like he like moved for no reason. Repositioning. Warriors. Whatever is required. Come on, let's kill this one. Maybe that's all we need for this army loss to start kicking in. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Victories in your grasp. Looks like he got it, actually. Let's go fight him. Where is he? Oh, it's right there. It's very little. It's okay. He's just knocking our guys. It doesn't actually kill them. All right, we got another point. Not that one, but this one. Yeah, capture weight just like skyrocketed when I got so many guys. Should be over. Yes, that leadership dip. We did it. Scurry back into your holes. Alright, but we are pretty worn down after that fight, and we're going to need some time to recover. These guys did a ton. I mean, everyone did really well, actually. I expect a ton of experience, like 4,000 maybe. Maybe even more than 4,000, actually. We'll see. I think the tricky part is probably we don't want to stay in the settlement. We probably want to be out so that we can recruit only 3,000. I was expecting a bit more. They'll probably siege us, which is why we don't want to stay inside. Because that would ruin our replenishment and our recruitment. Alright, 
We're level six. So we want to save one point, only use one here. I think we'll actually go with the weapon strength for the unit. Like, we can't always be right next to them. We've been getting a ton of arcane items. It's time to fuse these two. All right, we've got ourselves a region. Awesome. We'll try to fuse quite often. Speaking of fusing, we are also going to be... Mm, let's stand back, actually, in, in case there's any rebel forces that come down. We have two recruits. We're going to use both. We might combine a few next turn, but we'll let them heal up individually for now. And then we'll use recruit to speed things up. Now, they are making us imbalanced, which I really do hate. Hmm. This is also not the version I want, so I think Demolish is actually the play here. And we would want to upgrade this before building it, or wait till that finishes so we can get like a pair this way. Yeah, let's do that. This actually hurts us diplomatically with all the cafe factions and we get less growth during the end turn. But I think demolishing it will fix it. I think we're good. Ah, oh, new commandments. So, I think we want the Fire Dragon Edict first, just to get the recruitment up, because we'll be combining some units. And then afterwards... Maybe just the income one afterwards. I mean, early on it's probably just this, because we need to recruit. This is our only province right now. So he's probably going to suicide. Yeah, we popped out just because he might siege and that'd just be super annoying. No, that's weird. Why would a landless faction not suicide into the settlement? Our caravan's getting ambushed. We are back to balance, which is good. This is an ogre kingdom, which is just a generic faction being spawned to fight caravans. So it's probably not a big army. I think we just have to pull the range units out of harm's way early on, set up a front line, and it should be all good. Like, what can he throw at us? A few Saber Tusk, a few Nobblers, maybe a few Bulls? Let the Dragon's love spur us towards Celestial Victory! We also have our army ability for the summon. That will help a ton. Give me control. Stop walking. We're getting attacked. Ogres are fast. Can I twist? I bet they're attacking from this way. Oh, we can actually change the camera this entire way? Oh, they are dead. Yep. Okay. Pull these back. Stop marching. Set up a line. Get back over here. manageable. Wait, why? Verd? Is it named? Isn't this just a Nobbler? They have a named Nobbler? Anyways, let's focus. Did I get our range units out? Not yet, not yet. Get our range units out. And then the front line need to tilt. We get a flank, and then at the same time, we should just summon on top to give them some pressure. Look like we can actually move some of our range units around to create some angles. They're in position, charge the nobblers. Are they debuffing us? They have a butcher. Sh shoot into that. They're tall and big, easy targets. I'm gonna go take on him. Flank. Who's ambushing who now? 
Alright, the knobber breaks pretty easily. Alright, sacrifice your body into them. I think the Saber Tusks are just looking for another flank, but their leadership is actually super low. If we shoot them, maybe we can get them to just break. And then Army Lost Play kicks in. Yep, easy victory. We probably don't have to chase. I think these like spawn factions just disappear afterwards. Or at least it's in a territory that's so far away from us that we don't really have to care. I'll take the money. Alright. Get our second tech. Um, I think the buildings will still be balanced. But even though this is actually quite nice. And this is actually quite nice too. Hmm. Actually, let's start it. If it's not going to work out with balance, we could always stop it the turn before he completes. He tunneled underneath. So we're going to probably take this fight offensively and just finish them. Yeah, we can delegate this. What can go wrong? Yeah, zero loss. And I think we'll actually... We'll be fine. We're in friendly territory. Leadership bonus against Skaven. Rat catcher trait picked up. Clan destroyed. Ooh, our, a pretty rare one. Not a good one, but a pretty rare one. I mean, it's better than the one we had, so we're going to use it. We're still rank six. I still don't think we want to be inside, inside. I think we'll be slightly outside, and we'll combine a few of these three, to be exact. Three pairs. So, let's do these two, and these two. And then we'll basically go full army and then expand out. We're being careful, because I think there might be still one... No, faction destroyed, right? But they can still siege us from here. We really don't have vision. It's going to be about two turns before we can build anything. I stand apart. Mm, trade deals. That's what we really want. Of the nine. Darkness. I mean, we'll love to trade with you. Maybe we pay you. It's not going to be that much, is it? I think it's acceptable. I mean, not that it will pay us back, but just the relationship we'll build from him. Like, this is ridiculous ratio. Like, we're looking at, what, 50 turn payback-ish in that range? 40-something? Sure. We're going to try to be best buds with him on this campaign. Garrison Lord's not supposed to move. Not supposed to use any points. We're good. Going to get that army up and then continue our expansion against the rebels. I would imagine by this time they probably have a full stack. Maybe we can ambush them as we heal. Just set an ambush here to see if they come up. Ah, so I don't mind making a little less money for this 40 points. Ah, uh, the Brick event. We had this before during the Maoying Let's Play. So basically a trader comes up, says this is a Brick from the Bastion. We can return the Brick for control bonus or keep it for money. And this particular Lord Magistrate will pick up the Selfish Leader trait. Which obviously sucks, but I think it's fine for the money. We don't have any big aspirations for him. He might become like a recruitment lord for us in the future. 
But that's pretty much it. I think we want to stay... Stay near the settlement. And since we need to heal for a few more turns... Unless we... It burns like the touch of Warpstone. We don't need to wait till he's full. I think we can actually just kick him and recruit a new one. I not suffer fools Similar ideas here. Metal. The Celestial Blacksmith. They have the honor of service. Alright, so this way we'll be ready next turn. We can't ambush, obviously, as we recruit. We could be encamped. Why not? Any threats coming from behind us? Well, they got vampire counts coming very close. I don't really want to deal with course right now. So... Uh, rather not pay him that much. Ah! Uh, does that... It moved the needle by 0.2? Sure, it's the brick money. This way I don't have to worry about our rear because he's now bordering us. Favored Wind Shaper. City Commander. Alrighty, we'll focus our northern push after this turn. Where are they? They definitely have more armies. Ah, here they are. A big group at that. We probably want to ambush here now. Back to our original plan. See if they go for the settlement. Our caravan can pick up some units. I think we'll pick up the three range units. This is a decent enough front line. Dragon blood thrives in heat. All right, let's see if we can catch them. Try to take the settlement. So now we can build. I'm going to go cost reduction and then I'll go income on this side so they will balance each other. We'll get that population next turn to pop that. So we'll gain this, but we can't build it for a while. Ooh, actually, actually, we should do this. Because this way I can build the in building here and time it with our tech and then we'll actually be balanced because we're going for that young tech. What are we trending with Goldtooth? Towards 68? Hmm, maybe he'll sign once we hit over 60. I think the diplomatic thresholds are the same as Three Kingdoms. 15, 60, 150. Alright, come into our trap. He's a full stack as well. Decisive victory with our backup. I think we'll just take this. It's actually quite a few good units here. If we can pile them up and just knock them down with the fire rain. Oh, it's also ambush. I'll just auto. The Emperor is with us. Uh, probably more casualty than I want. That's a very good item. 20 leadership on a unit. That is quite the experience. I think we're rank 9? Yes, we are! Perfect. I'm going to actually take replenishment here. Money seems to not be a problem. And we actually wipe them? That was just a nice little experience bonus shipped to us. More units. Frontline this time. Oh. As my siblings would do. Look at that. The Battle of Xing Wu, Turn 7. Victory over the Center Lords of Jinshen. 3,144 kills. More importantly, we pick up Master of Metal, Lord of Shangyang, Strange Alchemy, and Iron Scale. So now we are regenerating Dragon Lord, who's weak to fire. An extension. And I think we can get to the edge here. Oh, it's desert, isn't it? Hmm. A land of fire. Oh, they have more. Oh, that's a okay. That's a caravan. That's fine. So that's gonna leave. 
and they're just trying to rebuild here. So we'll let this slip away and then tackle Shayang. So because we're still in our own territory. Hmm, I actually think we just top ourselves off with this unit here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we're getting that next turn. It's a young tech. So we get the inbuilding here, which makes it perfect. And we can still upgrade this. We're going to upgrade this and this. The upgrade doesn't add a point. Upgrade just keeps the point. The Inyang is set for the entire chain. Lord Magistrate reporting. Wait, wait, unused points? Did he? He didn't rank up. Caravan? We can check. Ooh, okay. So, get paid a bit more for the goods that we have. It seems like a strong enough caravan that we don't have to worry about it. Wait. That's trespassing. We can ask them to leave. I don't really want to declare war on them, though. Yes. Ah, we met the Empire. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what Too far to get a trade deal, we'll just take the money. Tribe Lord. More. Natural authority. They're slipping. They must be losing their fights. Anyways, things are going pretty well for us. As we can officially become the Lord of Shangyang, which is our title, by actually taking the city. Hmm. I'm actually going to give up more money. I want the trending value to go above 150. We're still balanced. Ah, it's ready positive. The dragon blooded. Now we can probably wait even because the trend is going really high towards 156. I think 60 is a cutoff for improvement. Although I don't know if they tell you what the actual values are. Trustworthiness, diplomatic prospect, distance. Baseline evaluation is ready 1.0 in the positive. I don't know if that's going to shift. That's basically what we're testing on. We can wait a turn. Let's just see if it shifts. And this should shift once he's not negative with me. Right? You can see the baseline is minus 4.0. I think once it's zero, it should be like maybe a neutral value. And above 15, it should be one. So I'm going to wait on both of these and hope to get paid more. I actually still want more young tech. That is going to be... A bit tricky once we... Let's go back to our settlement. Four turns to upgrade. One empty slot. Mm. I think what we can do is do three turns and then switch to maybe an in tech. And then just try to even it out that way. Must never Anyhow... Yeah, that's a very small army. Be to the iron wind. Wait, the caravan didn't leave. What is this? You can't just use a caravan's reinforcements for two turns. We're going to siege them then, if that's the case. They're supposed to leave. Go do your caravan thing. I'm not fighting two Sky Lanterns. Or at least we shut down their recruitment. If they want to sally out, they can. They have a young industry. That's not the building we want. Ooh, so that means... Once we capture it, we get one point young. Hmm. It's not helping. Should we start on these in points? This one's not going to help us that much. 10% ammo. The extra armor for jade units is quite good. 
hero action. We don't have any hero slots yet. Oh, we do. We have alchemist slot. That is going to be how we balance it. Right, because we picked up... Wait, we need the building as well? But what about my skill? I am no one's slave. Hero capacity? Hello? Do we have to be there? Or do they still need the building? I think they, maybe they still need the building. Hmm. It's gonna be a while till we build that building. Anyhow, the attrition on our side is not fun. I bow only before so... We might come back and actually just fight this. If they don't... I think we still wait a turn for them to move. We'll see what happens. Anyhow, we'll end our episode here. We'll come back next time and take Shangyang. As well as the rest of this province. Warpstone Desert is going to be ours. Ah, they took that. Okay. I believe that one's right here. They were trespassing us. Are they at war with other Cathay factions? No, they're just at war with the Center Lords. Interesting. Well, we might end up having to go to war with them. Or maybe we can trade it, buy it off or something. We'll figure out a plan, but uh, we do want the whole province. So until next time, bye!